Hi, my name's Rob. I'm the executive producer for Spare Parts. Now when you start this game, you're going to play as robots Marty and Chip, who have been dumped on this planet by Lord Cyber Krung, who's going around collecting technology for ultimate universal domination. Now the first thing that Marty and Chip come across in the game is a crash spaceship. And here, you get introduced to Comrade, who's a ship's computer, played by Simon Peck. My name is Conrad, and I'm the ship's highly advanced computer intelligence. Unfortunately, we are all in grave danger. Now, over to Gary and Lee, we're gonna take you through the rest of the game. Hi there, I'm Gary, I'm the lead designer on Spare Parts. And my name's Lee, and I'm the art director on Spare Parts. A great thing for us in designing Spare Parts was we had the contrast between the robots and the ship they find crashed on the planet, and also the planet's surface itself. It gave us a chance to introduce things like indigenous creatures, the phlegm bugs, the punklings, the spider monkeys, and also gave us an opportunity to go some really kind of creative places. So we've gone to areas like ancient temples, we've gone to gold mines, we've gone to deep jungles, to clifftop mountainous regions. So it's a really rich, exciting environment for the artists on the team to work in, and also we hope it's an exciting environment for the people to play in. So when we made Spare Parts, we really, really wanted to make it a co-op focused game. So we came up with the idea of putting these machines in the world that would give you something in single player, but you'd really need a second player there to experience the full potential of them. So some you can interact with and get a couple of coins out of them, but if there's two of you there, they explode and give you a whole bunch of more valuable coins and yeah, you get a much greater effect with two players. And we've also carried that on with the world as well, in that there's there's areas of the world you can only explore with two player because we don't have that drone character. If you've got a friend you want to play online, you can help you get all the achievements by unlocking these secret locations. In the single player mission you wouldn't be able to get to them. We also wanted to reinforce the co-op by having things you could do together with the action parts in the game. So if Lee and I had the power arms on and we charged them up at the same time and punched at the same time, it causes a shockwave that knocks down all the enemies. So if I was having a particularly hard time on a level, I'd say, you know, jump in, give us a hand and we could get through it a bit easier. And we've also got things like the co-op high five. So what that means is you both stand next to each other in the world, both press double jump at the same time, you jump up, hands clap, you both get your health filled right back up and you can carry on fighting more enemies. You found the rocket boots. They're a useful attachment. One of my favorite action parts in spare parts is the X scanners. So what you can do with those is you can put these on like a pair of X-ray glasses and what they enable you to do is scan the world around you for hidden achievements, unlockable areas, and also give you hints on what other action parts you need to use to progress. So hopefully that's given you an idea of what Spare Parts is all about. Keep an eye out for more videos on our run up to release.